Hi, my name is Tori Green, and students use technology all over the world, and some believe it has an overall negative impact on students, while others believe it has an overall positive effect on students. I think technology has a big impact on society today, and I see a lot of pros and cons with it. Depending on how you use it, some people use it in a negative way, and some people use it for positive ways. I'm not sure which one outweighs each other, but they both impact society a lot today. Positive ways such as using it to study, take notes, do homework, or just keep in contact with people as far as like what you need to do. And it can be used in negative ways because it can be a big distraction on students, even teachers, or just like when you need to get things done it makes it hard to do things, complete things, because you have you have it as a distraction. You know, we do a lot, we do a lot of assessment using it, like Kahoot. We do Kahoot. We do quizzes, and we do um, something called a recap video. So those things, when used wisely, I would say you know about maybe about forty percent of the time, or maybe even let's go up to sixty percent of the time, they do use it wisely when I prompt them to do that. Um, I use my technology for many positive different things as far as like if I was absent during class I could just text someone to see what I missed or if I needed help with things I could contact other students to get help on it. In addition I use it to study for testing quizzes by using an app called Quizlet and just like it's, I find it easier to like do homework sometimes because you could type things out on your phone or complete things like on Google Classroom with your technology. Some negative ways for technology are like having it as a distraction as far as like when people text you, Snapchat you or just different social media apps. It could be a big distraction because then you will stop focusing on your homework or your classwork and then make all your attention goes toward your technology and it'll be harder to complete tasks. During school it can be used wisely but as far as like personal technology I don't believe students use it to the best of their abilities. I think we're like on Snapchat or texting other people about things that aren't like related to school. It kind of depends on the class like um, if the class has if it's like technology based or if the class uses Google Classroom or something. But I'd say about uh, 50, no, like 25% of the time, students use it correctly, I guess. <laughs> um, there could be things that could happen at school that, you know, their parents need to know about or. There's like a lot of downtime in classes. You can get Google Classroom to your phone, you know, other things. Um, teachers use Kahoot on their phone, so yeah. Technology and phones could be used to send homework or send notes if you weren't at class that day or missed something, someone could easily send you a picture of it so you'll be caught up. Or just in case you didn't understand how to do it, they could send you a picture so you understand how, like, use it as an example so you would know how to do it. When an assignment does have or does, you know, invite you to use a certain, you know, production tool, technologically advanced, I think it's, you know, it's important to support their grades in that way, yeah. How will students be affected if they don't use technology in school? Um, I think they would not be ready for college. I think that if they don't have access to you know, a smartphone or a technological device, they're not going to be ready to um, present strong presentations, write excellent papers, things of that sort. I believe technology stops people from reading as much because with technology, everything is just so digital that not many people sit up and just pick up a book. They'll rather just listen to things or just be distracted in general with their technology. And if you get distracted, you won't be able to complete your assignments 
or it won't be able to study for your test, which will cause bad grades. At many times, I did poorly on assignments or tests because I got distracted with my technology and being on social media when I should have been studying or other things in that matter. Even when I'm in the hallway, I always have to check my phone. Some negative impacts of technology is cheating. Some students use it to send homework or even take pictures of tests. And when people, when students do that, you're not able to learn directly or you're just, you're not learning and then it'll just cause you to do bad and poorly on your tests and quizzes if you're just getting pictures of the homework and not actually attempting or pictures of tests and it's like you're really not learning. For me personally, it affects it negatively because when I'm at home and I'm just like trying to do my homework, I literally have to like shut my phone either off or on do not disturb and put it like on the other side of the room so I don't get distracted. In class, if I can't use my phone, sometimes I'll get a pass to go check my phone to be able to respond to people. And I always listen to music on my phone in class when I'm supposed to be studying or you know doing independent work I listen to music um, and like while I'm in class it's kind of distracting like when I feel my phone vibrating and I'm trying to focus so how much students be affected if they don't use technology um, I still think it'll have like a negative effect because like I said like teachers use a lot of technology now because that's like what the world is revolving around I would like certain um, filters on it, like certain site web websites that could be blocked, maybe like Snapchat and things that are social media. But I think the phone can be yeah, a good device. It can be, and it's it's how, how we live our lives now. Everyone has a phone. So how will technology impact students in the future? I just think at this point, honestly, there'll be more technology being used within classes and like outside of classes, I think it'll like kind of get worse. I don't know. I am. Um, um, technology changes so fast that I'm, I'm not sure to be honest with you. It, it can be like I like I said before. It can cause a distraction where kids are so involved in their technology they don't pay attention as well as they should. I find myself using my phone all the time. If I'm trying to do homework and it's out and it, a notification comes, I'll check it. Or if I'm trying to study and notifications come through, I'll just continue to check my phone. And it's just a big distraction for me in general because I can't get a lot of work done. I've been teaching for 22 years and it's gonna be interesting, interesting to see what technology does to the classroom. You know, we have so many things now that we can just get information so fast. And I'm really excited to see that. I don't know, you know, we could have like, where kids could have a headset on and they could do virtual reality, you know, teaching and things like that. And how might technology impact students in the future? Well, I guess I can't answer that question. I guess we have to wait and see what will happen if it changes. It's, it's incessantly, it occurs all the time, every year, every day. Well, to sum it all up, throughout this amazing journey, I was able to learn the many different positive impacts technology has on students and the many different negative impacts technology has on students. I was able to hear from many different students and teachers on their perspective of how technology affects us and I was able to reflect on myself of how I use technology on a daily basis. Um, I was able to see the many different pros and cons of technology and I think overall that it has a neutral effect because there were so many different positive ways and so many different negative ways and I can't wait to see how technology affects the future students and what it has in store for us.